watched recently. One of them is by a comedian who I recently started uh, watching slash listening to. Uh, her name is Rachel Feinstein. She is friends. She's very good friends with Sam Burrell, who's special. I also watch, but I'll talk about that later in the episode. Hello, welcome back to Al Talks. This podcast I started three years ago to chronicle me starting stand-up. Uh, so it, this podcast is a weekly podcast. It comes out once a week. And this is just a small little introduction video into the podcast. So down below in the description of each episode, you can go to my link tree and find links to everything connected to me. This podcast is available on YouTube, which you're watching around right now, and also on Spotify. Um, but yeah, that is just a small introduction into this podcast and everything that goes along with it. Hello, welcome back to Al Talks. Look, the hair situation is fine today. Uh, what do I want to talk about? Maybe stop saying um, stop saying um, and stop saying and. So what I want to talk about today is uh, two specials that I watched recently. One of them is by a comedian who I recently started uh, watching slash listening to. Uh, her name is Rachel Feinstein. She is friends. She's very good friends with Sam Burrell, who's special. I also watch, but I'll talk about that later in the episode. I have two tabs open for this program for some reason. Oh, well. Hopefully one of them is not over, over recording over the other one. But anyway. So, Rachel Feinstein's special is called Big Guy. That's what she sounds like. And that's my impression of her. But yeah, her special is called Big Guy. It is on Netflix. And it is, um, I think it might be her first special, but it's very good. There was two things in both Sam's special and Rachel's special that I thought were kind of like, there was jokes that got like really big applause breaks. And I thought, that was like the closer, the closing joke, but it wasn't because was the those were kind of halfway through the special, and it, it was funny because it happened in both of their times, and I was like, was that supposed to be a joke that was supposed to be close on or what? And so it kind of had me <laughs> confused that it like happened in both their specials, the, like the jokes they closed out with in both specials, Sam's and uh, Rachel's, they were great. But it's just like it really caught me off guard. I was like, what's this? But yeah, Rachel Feinstein, she's good friends with Sam Rill. Uh, she's, you know, she's a Jewish American comedian living in New York. Uh, her husband is a firefighter. And, you know, her, my, the, a lot of her specials like about, you know, basically her upbringing and her husband and stuff like that. Uh, very, very well crafted, very witty, very funny. There was a couple of times in the specials that had me chuckling which is what you want from a special and it was just you know first like i said recently started listening to her and watching her she's been a guest on a couple of podcasts i listened to and things like that so very happy to have watched her special also been a while since i've sat down and watched specials or watched listen slash whatever uh, how most of us consume uh, media nowadays and then we have Sam Rill's latest special as well, which was uh, released on Amazon Prime. A lot of comedians seem to be... A lot of comics seem to be going the... You know, I mean, like, the YouTube route, but Amazon has gotten a couple of specials on there as well. It's actually quite a lot. I've listened to... If you remember a couple of weeks back, Jim Florentine's was on Amazon Prime. I think LaBelle Crawford's is as well. You know, it, it, like in terms of uh, where it's basically, uh, how would you say, platforms, I suppose, where you can upload comedy specials. I mean, there's, you know, in the US, you have like HBO and Paramount Plus and stuff like that, which we don't get in Europe, which really, really annoys me. I wish we would. 
and but we don't so you know there's nothing i can really do but i think hulu is coming to europe now hulu's kind of, and but like well actually no i'm lying i you can get paramount plus in in um europe because i had a free trial of it through xbox uh rewards thingy or whatever and i watched on paramount plus i watched the first season of uh what's his face uh, Rocky Balboa. <sighs> Sylvester Stallone as what was it called? His thing, his TV show that Stephen Sylvester. Did I say Steven Seagal? This is Professor Stallone, not Steven Seagal. Uh, yes. uh, it's called Tulsa King. Tulsa is in Oklahoma, I think. Where is Tulsa? Yes, it is in Oklahoma, so that's correct. But yeah, um, so Paramount Plus is available, but uh, HBO isn't. Which really bums me out, because Mark Maron released a HBO special, and I can't get a hold of it here in the US. Um, I try, oh, not, not, it's in the US, I'm not in the US. It would be great if I was in the US, but I'm not. We can't, I can't watch it here in Europe. I have, it, like, it, it shows up on Amazon when you would go to click on it to rent or buy. It won't let me watch it in Europe, which really, really bums me up because I really do want to watch Max Marin's new special. Because Max Marin was one of the comedians that I really enjoyed watching from kind of the start, even before I got into comedy. I actually no, I think I'm going to see Max Marin live. Maybe like a couple of months before I got into comedy it was definitely on my mind anyway and Mark Maron is very it's a very kind of uh, prolific you know stand-up podcaster kind of one of the first people to start podcasting you know kind of started this whole industry which is great and the pioneers his podcast uh what the fuck WTF with Mark Maron is very interesting. He's got, you know, he's, he's had Barack Obama on in terms of guests, a lot of movie stars, a lot of comedians. He's a very, very interesting interviewer. There's a couple of great podcasts that I watched of his. And what do I want to say? Oh, yeah. So, think about it, you'll find Steen's special uh, Big Guy on Netflix. And then Sam World's special was called I've Changed on Amazon Prime. Um, very very good because I've been listening to his podcast a lot it was interesting to kind of see the jokes because you know the, some of the jokes that he talked about were just ideas well that's how they all start if you cut back to last week's episode which is about I explain how I write for comedy and you know it's very enjoyable for me anyway to see people work on their material and stuff before they bring to clubs and things like that. You know, like I said before, that's why I enjoy going to see work in progress shows and stuff like that. And then finally seeing the finished product in the end. Well, excuse me. For me, it's very, very interesting. So there's, that's basically two specials that I watched recently. And another one I can't get access to. Because, I don't know. Uh, geolocational. Um, 